I'm going to set up December in my Hobonichi A6 planner that I use as a functional planner and talk about uh, if this is uh, the plan I want to use in 2022. My name is Helena and I love planners and bullet journals. And uh, yeah, this is a functional planner for me. Meaning this monthly is uh, where I track my job hours and I write down my schedule. And uh, yeah, I do two major mistakes in this video. And the first one is right here. Did you see? Yeah, I, I like to cover the sort of extra days with washi tape, like the first, the last few days of November that you can see in the spread. But I actually <laughs> went and covered the first of December too, and I only noticed uh, when I was editing this video. First, some MT washi tape, uh, and now some uh, gold bows from Simply Gilded. I really love these golden bows. It's very elegant. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't have a lot of very sort of Christmassy colors in my planner stash. Uh, you know, I can't find a you know good green or good red that has this really Christmas feel. So uh, yeah, these colors are maybe not completely Christmas, but then December is a long month and it's about more than just Christmas. Here there's the sort of thicker version of that white and gold washi tape. I'm sticking it down there. Yeah, I track my job hours on this spread. Uh, I want to keep track if, if I work overtime or yeah you see I struggle a bit with the washi here I love the thin pages of this planner but sometimes it's like you know if you stick down washi it's almost like the washi tape eats the page because that thin page just you know so I track my job hours I write my schedule and uh, there's very little space here, but uh, I usually don't have a lot of different meetings and so in the same day. This is my drawer on a pouch. And I'm looking for this little calendar. It's like a card. It's just a card, but it's great because you see all the holidays. Because uh, the Hobonichi is a Japanese planner, of course it doesn't have the Finnish holiday, so I check it from this card. But again, I was really tired when I did this. Uh, I, even if I had this pocket card in front of me, I still did it wrong, as you can see. First, I'm testing out the colors on some paper. As you can see, we have a tomato red. The next one looks very sort of classic red in this video, but it's actually more of a cherry red. And then we have the wine red. And I ended up choosing the wine red. It just looks good with the washi tape. This is Tombow Dual Brush. And yeah, I'm going in on the 5th of December when the Finnish Independence Day is on the 6th of December. <laughs> So I had to take out some correction tape, as you can see here. Yeah, mistakes happen. And it's only today I suddenly realized I, a day is missing. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, I covered the 1st of December with washi tape. So the week is extra short. Yeah, but now I'm getting the right holidays here. Yeah, this year, actually, the Christmas days are on a weekend. So I don't get a lot of free days this month. And I didn't take out any holidays either. So I'm going to work quite a lot in December. Yes, marking out Christmas. So this is a sort of functional part of this done. Just marking out holidays, checking and uh, 
Now we're going to write the month. You know, decoration can also be functional because it makes it easier to see. You see, here I'm sort of writing in the air just to get a feel of how much space I have for the text. You know, when you have the sort of colors and the month written out big, it's easier to see, oh, this is December. It's easier, it's easier for me to find my place in my planner. If the pages are all plain, it's, it's sort of more confusing. This isn't the sort of best calligraphy in the world, but yeah, I don't know. I do enjoy writing with these pens. Now that we have the sort of functional things done, I'm going to go in with some stickers. You know, most months I don't really decorate these monthly spreads so much. I usually do them pretty early, you know, when I'm already starting to mark stuff in. But I want to do something extra for December. These stickers are by Cinecar Stationery, and they're re really cute. You have some gingerbread men, some glug, packages, mail, all sorts of cute Christmas things. They fit really well on this spread. I'm using the small ones. I mean, the A6 planner is quite small. You know, I've been thinking about going in for a bullet journal next year. Because uh, some days I feel like daily pages are just too small. You know, I need to make more notes, you know, some days than this one page. And then I end up writing on another day and it gets all messy. I have notes from Wednesday on Monday and Wednesday and here and there. But uh, there's something about this planet that is just so attractive. It I, I don't seem to be able to stop using it. I, I already bought one for next year because when I got this Chardin cover, uh, there was a planner that came with the cover too because a local retailer, uh, they're not allowed to, to sell the covers, covers without a planner. It's always the set. So I have a, a planner for next year, a Hobonichi A6. But it's still in its plastic because I've been thinking, should I use it or should I, should I go bullet journal all the way? I mean, this is not my only sort of notebook or planner. I have a collection of bullet journal. I've been having a separate work planner and so on. But this is sort of where I keep my schedule and it's my, you know, on the go planner. Putting down the last stickers and soon we can go and see where I keep my monthly task list because I sort of use the bullet journal method still, even though I'm in a planner. I mean, here it's only my schedule and not even everything, just the most important meetings, work uh, and so on. Here are the daily pages. I usually make a weekly task list on Monday or Sunday. And this is the monthly task list. And this is the real, you know, important planning part of my planner. I mean, <laughs> here I've only written that I need to <laughs> buy Christmas gifts. Um, and yeah, then I make daily logs and so on. Yeah, that was pretty much it. I hope you have a great December. At least I'm going to enjoy my planner. Bye.